We were talking quite a lot about Cliff Richard last week and these startling revelations as of him dun, dun, dun. maybe being a dodgy pedophile. That's Way back said. in the 80s. What was the story? What was the story with him? That he basically, oh, th- there was some 14-year-old. Oh, no, no, 16-year-old. He's under some investigation that he may have done some activity of a sexual nature with a 16-year-old boy. So we think it could be Robbie Williams. It yeah. could be Chris Martin. Do the maths. All right, so we've done a little song for him. We have to do this live. Basically, all the members of Take That. There we go. All of them were in Cliff Richard's house at some point. Some of them may still be. We don't know the others. So he usually goes to America to watch tennis this time of year, but he, can't, he can't go in. I used to keep my shit discreet. I look good in the 70s. Can you imagine how I feel today? Jimmy Savile said, get laid. It doesn't matter what their age. Back then, happy was the same as gay. Well, the age. Long ago, I wasn't the only one. Gary Glitter was the first to go. He was a horny one. I knew the cops would come. Everybody, pedo granny. <laughs> now we can't stalk anymore. Because <laughs> he looks like a grandma. Pedo granny. I can hardly walk anymore. Well, he was 16. <laughs> and I'm 70. I'm a pedo granny. What's behind my closet door? There we go, Cliff Richard. You like my song? Yeah. Sure. I especially like the, the chorus. Yeah, Even I in Scandal, Cliff can still bring the hits. <laughs> Gotta give him that much. <laughs> well, listen to that. What a song.